meditation had a statistically significant impact on Good afternoon friends. In today's video, I'm going to tell you why meditation may extend life in humans. But before I do, please subscribe to the channel if you're not already, like the video and comment on the video for the sake of the algorithm. Now let's get started. Now before we get started, we have to talk about telomeres. I've talked about telomeres several times on the channel before, but if you haven't heard about them yet, they're a chain of amino acids that wrap the ends of your chromosomes, sort of the way, I'm forgetting the word for it now, somebody else told me this word, but that thing at the end of your shoelace that that ties your shoelace together, the plastic bit. Somebody mentioned the word, it's an obscure word. But anyhow, they function sort of like those things at the end of your shoelaces. Over time in life, the telomeres that wrap your chromosomes shorten, both due to your cells replicating in your body, but also due to stress that happens to your cell. Telomere shortening in turn is a protective mechanism that limits your cell's ability to replicate. And because they shorten as a result of oxidative stress, which is a kind of stress that also causes damage to your genes, they are sort of a proxy for damage in your body and when they shorten they sort of uh, give you a protective measure against developing cancers which often happen when cells that are damaged replicate when telomeres shorten they stop this from happening so they're sort of protective but they're also their length is also assigned within a person to some degree of their health such that I'm not saying that increasing the length of telomeres unnaturally through drugs, for example, may certainly extend your life. In particular, doing so may protect you from cardiovascular disease, but may worsen your incidence of certain cancers. But we're not talking about lengthening your telomeres through drug-related mechanisms. We're talking about within a person, their telomere length over time is sort of a proxy for how their health is functioning, in the sense that the telomeres shorten from ill health, but also lengthen from good health. It seems to be that the natural mechanisms that cause the lengthening of telomeres are also modulated somehow by our health, such that telomeres lengthen less when we have bad health. Now that was a lot about telomeres to remember, but all you have to remember really is that within a person when telomeres are longer, we take it as a sign of good health. And within a group of people in general, a lengthening of telomeres over time may be an indicator of better health and less chance of mortality. For example, a five-year study on 600 people with coronary heart disease found that among the people whose telomeres lengthened during those five years, they had a massively reduced incidence of mortality, over 50% reductions. There's a lot of other observational evidence like this that shows that when people's telomeres lengthen through natural processes, it seems to be a proxy for them having better health. I don't believe it's directly largely causal, but it may also have a causal role on their good health. So there's certainly evidence that over time, telomeres can lengthen naturally in people, and that that lengthening may be an indicator of good health. But there's also evidence that lifestyle interventions that we know extend life in humans, like exercise, also extend telomeres. So for example, there's an excellent 2019 study, which I should have probably done a video on before, which indicated that cardiovascular related exercise, so aerobic exercise, extended telomeres, but resistance exercise, for example, which we know is not particularly associated with long life, did not extend telomeres. And by the way, the particulars of this study showed that both high intensity interval training and endurance aerobic exercise extended telomeres within six months in people, but resistance exercise didn't. So what do we know so far? We know that telomere length is within a person an indicator of good health over time in the sense that if telomeres increase over time, it is likely an indicator of better health. We also know that lifestyle interventions that are known to extend longevity in humans also happen to extend telomere length. But now the question is, is it likely that meditation extends life in humans? And in particular, does it extend telomere length? Well, I'm glad I asked myself that question because I doubt I would have encountered these papers otherwise. Interestingly, there are several papers that study telomere length among meditators and non-meditators. There are enough papers, in fact, to sort of determine whether there's a duration-dependent and dose-dependent effect of meditation on telomere length. And thankfully, some authors have already done a meta-analysis on the subject. A 2020 meta-analysis on 11 studies, including over 800 participants, determined that meditation had a statistically significant impact on telomere length in the sense that dose dependently and duration dependently meditation practice increased telomere length in humans well friends i hope you found that as exciting as i did if you have meditated very much yourself you've likely felt the positive impact in your own life 
Now we have some evidence for that. And to review what the takeaways may have been from this discussion, first of all, telomere length within a person over time is an indicator of their health status. Second, lifestyle interventions that we know are healthful tend to increase telomere length. And third, meditation practice does increase telomere length. The question is, does meditation practice extend life? And of course, that remains to be seen. I'll see you again tomorrow morning, friends.